So, welcome to Bad Food Blog. Look what we have here. I'm going to be mixing chicken types. So we have frozen breast pieces and fresh breast fillets. And I need a little bit more than either of those to fill this bag. This is a Nando's Piri Piri bag and bake. So what you do is you put all the chicken in the bag. You seal it up with a little parcel in there. You put it in the oven for 190 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes. Obviously once the chicken's all defrosted. And then you get lovely chicken out of it. I'm going to be using a rice cooker to do rice with it. And then I'm going to make a sauce for myself. Um, well, I don't really think I'm going to make a sauce. There'll be some sauce that comes out the bag. But what there'll also be is there will be some... Uh, uh, how would I say? I'm going to use... I can use some red hot chicken wing sauce probably on it. It'll be quite nice. So first thing I need to do is defrost this. You don't need to see that part of the process, but um, we'll get around to it when I'm putting it in the bag. <sighs> so somehow chicken always looks bad when you do that to it. Let's have a look at what's in this packet here. Whoops. That's better. Too many shadows. Didn't have the little filling light on the front of the camera. Oh. Yeah, I think I've done a video on one of these before, but they're always different. <laughs> spice. This is a lemon, I heard it won't be as spicy as the other one. So we have a paper bag, into which I'm going to place all of the chicken. These bits are a tiny bit, well, some of them are a tiny bit frozen still. I'm not too worried about that because I'm going to leave them to marinate in the bag. Whoops. For a little bit. Oh. With that pair of sauce and let's get rid of that. And I'm going to put these chickens in as well. I've got to heat the oven up. Never peels off the oven. Same thing every time. Whoop. These bits are bigger. Oh, it has chicken juices going everywhere. Let's get rid of that over there and I'll throw that out in a minute. Oh. Yeah. Get rid of that too. <laughs> we have the spices. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So, I guess the thing to do is to pour the spices down in here. Like, not all of them at first. Then you're supposed to shake the bag. I guess what you do is turn the bag over. It says to put the seam facing down, which is not the moment. I want all of the chicken to be nicely covered. As you can see, I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm going to leave it to marinate in this stuff for a little bit. There we are. It over it and then I'm going to try and sort of flatten out the chicken so it's not all on top of each other. There. So it's like, yeah, so it's fairly evenly spread out in there. I'm going to have to wash my hands, I can feel they're wet, so they're covered in chicken juice, I think. La -da 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 -da. Rice cooker, the fastest way to cook rice. Watch this, preparation, 30 seconds. One. Two. Done. So while the rice is cooking, I wanted to talk about the packaging and what it says. So bag it, four chicken breasts, approximately 500 grams. That's all good. 
Bake it 260 degrees, 210 degrees, 190 fan assisted oven, place laying bag down. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've done everything correctly, so I haven't done anything like that. I cook them thoroughly through, and the butter goes off, check the chicken juices and serve, cut the chicken with juices. So I'm, I'm gonna use my temperature sensor and make sure that they're cooked properly, because I don't trust cooking something in a bag, because you can't see if it's cooked, and you know, opening the bag is gonna let all the heat out. But this, I think, should be on the front of the packet. Look at what it says there. Important, do not use in gas oven. Bag is flammable. Ensure grill is turned off at all times. Do not exceed temperature specified. Bag expands during cooking. Do not allow, allow bag to touch open flame. Well, if you're not allowed to use it in a gas oven, why would you be setting it on fire anyway? Use with caution when opening, his bag will, content will be hot. Well, they're assuming his superheated steam will come out. Do not reuse bag and do not use in microwave. This should be on the front because this is what the front looks like. It looks very inviting, but it does not say anything about a gas oven, which, oh, it does. It says not suitable for gas ovens. That's important for that to be there. And I'm, I'm glad that it is, but bag included. You know, if you've got a gas oven, you can just buy, I've got a cast iron thing you can cook chicken in, which does the same job as this plastic bag. I also have a Pyrex one, which does the same job as this plastic bag, and you can put the lid on. You don't really need a reusable piece of paper to do this, just anything that would seal would do the same job. I've already temperature sensed the chicken once, and it came out at 54 degrees, so it's been in for another 10 minutes, thus making it 40 minutes just under 10 minutes but I don't want it much to go too high because that's gonna dry out the chicken so let's see what we got going on now Ooh, we're getting to 70 in that piece let's try another piece there's a big bit there oh 67 68 so just a couple more minutes. It looks, getting to look good on the outside of the bag there, but just not quite ready. Here we go again. We've got more juices being forced out of the chicken now. They look clear as well, the ones that are popping out the top of the bag. Let's go for an internal on this one. 73, 74, yeah, we're good. 74. Six, yeah, 77, yeah, we're good, right. Now, how to open the bag. I have actually got a knife, which is really good for this. This one. Oh, oh doesn't that look amazing? Wow. And I can also use this to cut the chicken just to check that it's not pink inside and it is white all the way through because those big breasts need cutting up. Oh, there we are. Right, that's a nice amount of juice in there. We can pour all over the rice for everyone. Oh. bit more chicken than we were expecting for everybody here. Doesn't it look wonderful? It smells amazing by the way. The herb, the herb and garlic smells absolutely wonderful. Oh, I thought I'd uh, try it on camera facing you and oh wow it looks amazing. Here we are dripping everywhere very very moist mmm that Nando's lemon chicken wonderful mmm lemon and herb chicken's really nice mmm mmm really cool mmm mmm and the juices on the rice amazing mmm well, I'm going to go off and finish this. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and uh, also push the like button and share it if you want as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.